this is Adam and Brooke from Imaginary Lemons, and today we're going to take you on a tour of an accessible room at Disney's Coronado Springs. Disney's Coronado Springs Resort is one of the five hotels in the moderate price category at Walt Disney World. The theming blends Spanish, Mexican, and South American cultures with a few Disney touches. Disney classifies this as an Animal Kingdom area resort, but since this hotel only offers bus transportation, you are basically centrally located between Animal Kingdom, Epcot, and Hollywood Studios. Coronado Springs is also home to a convention center, so the hotel caters more to business travelers than it does to young children. Because of their unique clientele, staying here gets you a lot of deluxe features at a moderate price. For example, Coronado Springs offers two fitness centers and the largest hot tub of any Disney World hotel, while most moderates don't have either option. From the tapas lounge and the sports bar to the Spanish art and the smart TVs, Coronado Springs is a very unique offering at Walt Disney World. While it wouldn't be our first recommendation for someone traveling with children, this is a wonderful hotel for a romantic getaway or an adults only friends trip. Coronado Springs originally opened in 1997 with two and three story garden style buildings with exterior walkways arranged around three villages or neighborhoods that each have their own pool and bus stop, similar to a Caribbean beach resort. In 2019, Disney opened the 16-story Grand Destino Tower, themed after the work of Salvador Dali and his friendship with Walt Disney. The new tower brings an additional 545 rooms, as well as suites and club-level services. In total, Coronado Springs offers almost 2,400 rooms. The average price per night varies based on the time of year, but starts around $250 to $300. When you book at Coronado Springs, you can choose whether you will be in the original buildings or the Grand Destino Tower. In fact, Coronado Springs offers a lot of options to choose from when selecting your room type. With rooms that sleep as few as two and as many as eight, there are no fewer than 48 different types of accessible rooms to choose from at Coronado Springs. This is not an exaggeration. If you're thinking that it sounds a bit daunting to go through 48 different room types to find the one that's going to meet your needs, you're not wrong. But this is where I want to remind you that you don't have to figure that out yourself. Contact me at brooke at vacationwiththemagic.com and I would be happy to help you arrange your next accessible Disney vacation at absolutely no additional cost to you. On our trip, we stayed in a preferred wheelchair accessible king bedroom with a roll-in shower in the casita section, which is closest to the main hub and the Grand Destino Tower. Welcome to the Coronado Springs Resort. Come in and there is a really nice sized desk um, that is reflective of the fact that this is a convention hotel. And so they cater more to the um, business traveler than some of the other hotels. And so we even have a Keurig, which is lovely. And it looks like there's actually a decaf version of the Joffrey's um, 50th anniversary blend, which is pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that before. There is a refrigerator, similar to what you would see at other moderate resorts. There are two levels of hanging as well as a suitcase rack and a full length mirror. This is a connecting room, so you can see that if you had another party with you, you might be able to get a connecting room. This is a king bed room. We like these both for the comfort of a king bed as well as additional floor space because one king takes up less space than two queens and there's only two of us so we don't need two queens. 
This is a roll-in shower unit. So as you can see here, shower is quite lovely. Um, there is the handheld unit there that has the option to lower your built-in toiletries and a built-in bench. Oh, this seemed to be a little stuck. Oh, wait a minute, maybe you pull this out. There you go, okay, so you have to pull it out a little bit and then there you go, not bad, not bad at all. The threshold has a um, lip that flattens, so that's how they keep the water in. Um, there are, you know, obviously there's gonna be a little bit of gaps at the edges there, so we will let you know if that poses a challenge this is a roll under sink, and we have quite a few toiletries. This is more akin to what you would normally see at a deluxe resort. Normally you don't see this many toiletries in a moderate resort. Your toilet has grab bars on both sides, and there is a safe with the keypad. The door is a pocket door. Oh, the door is a two-part pocket door. That's interesting. Again, I'll let Adam tell you how easy or not. Certainly the lock is going to be a lot easier for a quadriplegic to use because it's, you could just sort of bat it with your, you could, you could do that. Um, pull these apart. So that is a nice bonus. Got some nightstands here. There are outlets, not USBs, but oh no, sorry, I, I apologize. There are USBs on the side and standard outlets on the top. The Gideons have been here. There's lots of empty space and there are end tables on both sides. We also have three drawers here. And they seem to be pretty sizable. The bed is has legs, and so if you needed that to be raised in order to use a hoyer lift, a hoyer lift might fit under there actually. But if not, Disney can you can talk to um, guest services, and they can usually lift those for you. The bed does appear to be wheelchair height, so that is very helpful. This is the room looking out outside. You've got a window. The blinds do not appear to be accessible. They don't have the lower turn bar things that we are accustomed to seeing. Uh, there is a nice chair in the room, but there is just the one chair. Coronado Springs Resort is very wheelchair friendly, but some locations are better than others. Because we were in the casitas, it was pretty easy to get around and the food service options are very convenient. Coronado Springs offers 10 food and beverage locations and all but two are in the main hub that consists of the tower and the lobby that leads to the convention center. Two of the options even had mobile order. So I am heading to get some breakfast. Brooke is still in her room right now, waking up. So I'm going to go down to the, I guess, food court, lack of a better word, called something something Mercado. But you'll see as I get there um, what it is. Uh, today is not that bad. It's very cool. It's about 9 o'clock right now in the morning. And so, I guess you guys will see it's like the ground is uneven. So, there is no image stabilization. Anytime I go out, I try to look and see if I can find these. I 
every door has them, but a lot of doors don't. As with all Disney restaurants, if you need something custom made, just ask to speak to one of the chefs. Disney is very good about accommodating allergies and special need diets. It's a pretty, I guess, um, busy area, but they move stuff pretty quickly, so you should be able to grab what you need to grab and then head on out. Um, but overall, it was fairly easy to get what I need to get for breakfast today. Now I'm headed back to the room. So this is our building, Casita 3. I took a less bumpy ride back, but still gonna get some bumps in a second. Let's see. So, traveling to the food court area wasn't that difficult, but it also depends on how far you are away from food court, as this resort is sprawling, so you may or may not be near the main, um, the main food court area. That is the main building, lobby building. I think the towers, if I recall correctly. So in the towers, you can see they're pretty big. But a lot of other buildings are only like two levels or so. Um, which is um, nice. One thing that I don't like about the current area is this. Wherein you have just a drop off. As you can see, it's pretty steep. And so, somebody in a wheelchair has to be very, very cautious of when they come out their rooms um, to make sure that they don't, oop, I passed my room. Didn't even notice. Uh, very cautious of coming out the room. I wish they would have something here to, uh, maybe a decorative gate or something to block it, just to be safe as you never know what's going to happen with somebody in a wheelchair and their device. If you do have kids with you, Coronado Springs is not without options. The hotel still has movies under the stars, campfire activities, and other things that you would find at Disney hotels. And it has a great play area called the Dig Site that features a heavily themed playground and a feature pool themed as the Lost City of Cibola. There are also three leisure pools at each of the villages. All of the pools have wheelchair lifts, which are very easy to use. If you've seen our previous video, you know that we actually got sick on this trip and were quarantined here at Coronado Springs. The management team here made sure that we were taken care of while also keeping the staff safe. This hotel has quickly become one of our favorites and we will definitely be back. We thank you for watching our latest video at Coronado Springs. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. We are a very new channel, so each like and subscribe helps us a whole lot. And if you want to support us, please consider booking your next vacation through Vacation with the Magic by Brooke. Whether you are going to Disney, looking for a cruise, or want to go on an adventure, we can help you find the accessible options that meet your needs. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Nice breeze. The sky looks pretty well. Good.